Hi, my name is Jody Flummersfeld. I've been going to EUM Church about eight years. I got involved in mission work with EUM about five years ago. I had done mission work before and had some great experiences, so I felt like it was time to get back into doing some mission trips again. Before I went on the mission trips, I had a good walk with the Lord, but it wasn't as deep as what I knew it should be, turning everything over to Him. It was um, at that time during the Alaska mission trip that the gentleman that ran the Eagle Crest Ministries there challenged us to surrender everything to God. And then before I knew it, uh, without Guatemala ever being on my list of places to go, it became a real eye-opener that that's where I should go on a mission trip. On my first trip to Guatemala, God gave me a divine appointment. We uh, had the celebration of the 10th house that EUM had built. We went into their big center and we decorated and the families of previous houses and the new homes that we were building were all there. And we served these families chicken dinners, french fries, which is a big treat for them. As I watched the little girl across from me eat, she cleaned the chicken leg that I gave her clear down to the bone. And I gave her my chicken that I was eating. She took that chicken and she took two big bites of it and her grandmother took it away from her, wrapped it up in a napkin. And I knew at that time that the chicken was going home for someone else. I just thought, I've got to get this family more chicken. I knew there was more back there. So I went back and got them a few more pieces, wrapped them up, took them to them. They were so thrilled to get three more legs of chicken. And I took it to them and they constantly were thanking me. I'm not fluent in Spanish, so I, you know, didn't know much of what they were saying, but you could tell on their face how thankful they were. But the next day we went uh, to the potter's house and they showed us the houses that we were gonna build for. And in God's divine appointment, I was on the, the home of the same people that I got the privilege of feeding the night before. It was an amazing experience. They recognized me, of course I recognized them, and it just was a bond that will never end. It was so clear that that was the people that I was supposed to serve that night. It was clear that that is whose home I was supposed to help build. It was just clear God's hand in every part of the situation. And after having an experience like that on your first trip, Guatemala has become my second home. I've been uh, blessed to have relationships in Guatemala that will last a lifetime. Will they remember you forever? And I got to go back there last year to their house, and we didn't. I didn't have an interpreter, but they saw the mother of the house. She just starts crying, and the grandmother knows a little English, and she she sees me. She goes, "You surprise! You surprise!" <laughs> Uh, since the Guatemala mission trips, um, the way my daily walk has changed is it is a daily walk. It's a constant daily walk. It has made me realize that there is nothing at all about me. It's all about him. It's all about what he wants me to do. If you're comfortable with your life, don't go to Guatemala on a missions trip because you will not come back the same. You will not be able to stay the same. But if you want change in your life, Go to Guatemala. It's a life-changing experience.